Hello, we are Hawksman Real Estate. I am James Mason. And I'm Sarah Colenzo. And we are here to talk to you about the local property market. With many of you asking us questions about what's happening right now, we thought it would be a good idea time to time for us to sit down and have a chat about what we believe is going on in the local market. Well, you're back. So the first one can't have been awful. Thanks for joining us again. Where, what are we talking about today? Well, September market. How is it September? I don't know how it's September. August went in a flash. We're already halfway through the first week of September. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, your boy's back at school? Yesterday. And actually, I picked up a happy boy, which is quite rare for first day of term. Mine's so, not back yet. Mm, I know. End of this week. That's crazy. Yeah. Although I do have a problem with starting on a Monday because it's a very long week. We're mm. all going to be exhausted and crying by Friday. So I much prefer a midweek start just to ease our way in. But there we go. Well, uh, no, there you go. But mm -hmm. uh, well, we are here in September. and I suppose we should talk about what the property market is doing. Mm. Um, I think back in August, we said, well, let's talk about August uh, a little bit in that we thought it was going to be quieter activity levels. And I think it was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, we still had some really good quality inquiries because only serious buyers try and see houses in August, but it was a lot quieter than we were had been used to earlier on in the year, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think it was a quieter August than last year because yes. ev everyone was away. Yeah, exactly. Last um, year, everyone was still here. So it was just another month, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. But um, uh, we launched property to the market and sold it in August and it exchanged in August as well. So um, so don't tell me it's a bad market no, exactly. because uh, that one sold uh, first day of marketing. In fact, virtual viewing. Can you believe it? Virtual Brave viewing. New world. Isn't it just? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And uh, actually doing a virtual viewing is harder than doing a real, it's exhausting. It's really weird. Did you do the thing where if you walk around a bedroom and you see yourself in a mirror, did you go, hello? Yes, I did. Yes. You have to, don't you? <laughs> Otherwise, it's weird. Just like, yeah, yeah so. it is a bit. Well, I did I did the piece to camera first. And I said, yes, Hello. you have to introduce and, yourself. Then, then, went, then you oh. say, I'm going to turn the camera. Yes. And off you go. And oh, then everyone there I am. Goes, Hi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. he's handsome. Uh, <laughs> and it uh, doesn't come with the house. Uh, but yeah, absolutely delighted about that one. Oh, and brilliant. Um, I mean, we'll talk about exchanges as well, because we've had some amazing it's results. It's been a good month. Yeah. And I want to talk about those results mm -hmm. later. But it's been a really, really good month with regards to... Um, with regards to those exchanges going through and sales happening. So yes. that's all good. And you also managed to sneak in a little holiday, didn't I you? I booked a last minute thing. Yeah. My usual. It's uh, obviously, look, running your own business, it's hard to plan anything, as you know. Absolutely. But, um, managed to sneak away to Greece just for a few days, just what the doctor ordered. Bright sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. So na nailed it. Absolutely brilliant. Great. Um, but then back now and, and looking at September... It looks as if what we thought was going to happen is happening. Yes, absolutely. So lots of valuations. One, one thing that surprised me a little bit in August, obviously we're a small boutique little company. We don't operate on mass markets. I couldn't give a crap about market share at all or anything like that. Um, we look at each individual as do we want to work with them. But suddenly our valuation numbers went through the roof. I know, we were busy, weren't we? 12 in a week. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? Um, so there is an appetite, I think, from people who are saying, right, maybe now is the time to move. So it'll be interesting to see what that turns into in September on new listings. Yes. There was definitely stuff I didn't want. Mm -hmm. um, I know, absolutely. And we should probably talk about that as well. If you are looking to, if you are looking to sell your house, be very careful about the valuations that you're getting at the moment. Um, and what's surprising me is some of the big trusted names uh, who are going out there and putting huge terrifying numbers on houses. huge numbers yes. on houses and i think um you know reading between the lines we are going into a, a new period and, and everything's changing in the world and we know that um and i think there are some agents under pressure for listing stock and numbers um getting and, new instructions yeah yeah absolutely yeah and it all seems to be um just a little bit fraught at the moment mm -hmm. and, and I, I can't quite understand some of the numbers that are being quoted out there but Look, we'll see. Um, uh, the proof is in the pudding, isn't it? And uh, I think within the next three or four weeks, we might see some of those coming down in price or being removed from the market. Yeah, um, I'd say so. There's going to be some sort of a levelling effect, isn't there? Well, we talked about this last time, didn't we? Yeah. That the market isn't coming down. The just stupidly overpriced ones are being found out now. Absolutely. There's so much information for buyers out there. And again, we'll talk about that a bit later as well. But there's so much information for buyers out there now. I think you can spot a dud. Absolutely. Buyers know what they're willing to pay for a property, what a property's worth. 
even if they're willing to pay a little premium to solve a problem, they still know what a sensible price is. And um, I think some houses have been caught out. Buyers are absolutely willing to pay a premium. Uh, the good buyers are. We're still having ones telling us no. But um, the good buyers who are looking to problem solve and are, I think, importantly, buying for a period of time. As yeah, well. absolutely. We're lucky. We sell family homes. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're not selling... Uh, a little tiny place that someone's going to be in for three years. Yep. Okay, These are family homes where people are going to take a longer term view, but they will pay a premium. We all pay a premium for the mm-hmm. best things in life and, and our houses are nice. So why wouldn't they, right? But um, the last five houses we've sold, mm-hmm. and I, I should say, dear viewer, um, one of the marketing tactics, and if we haven't been to value your house, you wouldn't have seen this, but one of the marketing tactics that we use is... Um, to value incredibly tight, you know, uh, uh, almost, <clears throat> almost with the vendor talking about what's the very lowest you could put it on. I'm still waiting no. for the day a vendor allows me to put their house on the market for a pound. Oh God, I want that to happen. I mean, we'll, I be, really we'll end up in the Daily it. Mail, but you know, it, I, I absolutely want that. Offers over a pound. If any of you are brave enough, let me have it. Um, and I guarantee it will sell for more than the market value. I guarantee <laughs> so you it will. Say, I'll guarantee it'll sell for more it'll than a pound. It'll sell for more than a pound. Yeah. But, but the, by, Doing that, I think when we value very sensibly with with our clients, and we're very lucky with our clients who trust us to do it, we do put these properties on the market at um, prices that we know are very attractive and are going to create a massive amount of interest. And when you get the competitive bidding, that's when you ultimately get the best price. Absolutely. And I had a guy say to me this month, he said, look, I know I'm paying a premium for it, but I don't care. Yeah. I love that house. My family love that house. We're going to live there. We're going to have 20 summers there. We're going to have 20 Christmases there. We're going to be so happy here. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're not going to sit there in 15 years time and think, oh, I wish I had another 50 grand. Mm. No, you've got the home of your dreams and um, and you're happy there. So, But one thing, I d- you know what everything's sold for, mm-hmm. but I bet you haven't added it all up. Mm. So the last five houses that we sold mm-hmm. have all gone over the guy price. Yes. Some significantly. Yes. But all of them have gone yes. well over the guy price. But I added it up. And? <laughs> a million and 80,000. So that's five houses. Wow. On yes. average, 220 grand-ish above the guide price. So it's working then. So that, it works. <laughs> it um, really does, So, so it? Yeah, and actually the house that we've just put on, I mean, you look at the response we've had, yes. huge amounts of viewings mm-hmm. on it. And, and a guy on Instagram, um, thank you very much for being polite. They've, oh, it's so much more polite these days now. Oh, really? Oh, After pleases, you said you were pleases and thank you requests. Pleases and thank yous. That's and, nice. And hi, James. It's very Aww. nice. Um... But there was a guy who said, yeah, it looks like a really sensibly priced house. And I think buyers recognise that. Absolutely. Um, and God, isn't it just a nicer way to be, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, but yeah, a million and eighty over guide price wow. on the last five exchanges that we've had. Hooray. Well done, us. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, great. Yes. Absolutely. Cheers. No, I'm very pleased. Yeah. Um, so mm. talking about those exchanges, yeah. we had the two in Isha. So we've had a great month. Oh. Um, I think we've had a great summer, actually. It's been a really good summer. It's been Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It has. And it's so, I mean, look, you know how stressed I get. When, <laughs> I mean, we, we're not supposed to call it sales chasing, aren't we? We're no. The whole rebranding of sales progression. Processing. Uh, sales progression. Pro- no, I think progression is a better word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but a lot of it is sales chasing. Yes. Um, and sales and kicking. And sales kicking in some cases. Do you want to tell the story of your most dramatic sales chasing this month? The one where I had to go to an estate agent's yes. office? Yes. Because <laughs> he wasn't answering his phone? Yes. Yeah. Um, and he was there, wasn't he? No, he, no look, he was there. <laughs> Um, hadn't rung his buyer, hadn't rung, couldn't ring the list. Uh, long story, I'm not going to, anyway. But yes, I had to drive. That was to, a chasing day. That was a chasing day where I had to drive to an estate agent's office, pull the car up outside. I didn't storm in. I went in really gently and nicely and said, How Hi. did you open the door? Gently. Did you? Yeah. Apologetically really. or glass, just confident? So I, it was glass, so I couldn't kick oh, it. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, and, and but look, we exchanged a day later. Got we it done. We exchanged the next day. We missed the, it was about five, mm. five ish, so we missed the cutoff. But the two. Um, the two properties um, that I'm really pleased about are the Yisha properties because yeah. they took a lot longer than we had hoped. They, mm-hmm. That was supposed to be a really quick deal. Um, um, but they've gone and I'm really pleased for all the families because actually those houses were brilliant. Absolutely. And they were two family homes and actually they were yeah. just transitioning, weren't they? Yeah. So yeah, really lovely stories and on both know, of them. And you know I've got a soft spot for Isha as well. Yeah, exactly. You where know, I cut my teeth. I, but know. I, do, I do like it and I love that area as well. Um, yeah, very and, special. And well done. And thanks for all of you guys as well because that... That one, I won't say which one, but that, we that did one. A, it was a Sunday, wasn't yeah. it? Well, we it all, all happened in a whirlwind, didn't it? it was a Sunday morning as well. It was like nine o'clock in the morning. And I'd been to a party the night before. I think I hadn't. I think I no, was No, I think you'd had a good early night. I, I'd had an early night mm. on the Saturday. Well, I tell you why. Well, we had the, well, We'd the, had the viewings day on the other one on the Saturday. I finished off the PIMS. Did you? I, okay. <laughs> we did the viewings day. Yes. And I remember the last viewing went 
And I did eye up, there was a jug of Pims. And I, I actually, do you know what? I sat in the garden mm-hmm. on my own. Lovely garden, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I had about 20 minutes just oh, enjoying it. I you were going to say 20 glasses. Okay, no. 20 minutes on your no, own. No, I had about 20 minutes on my own in the garden. And I just thought, yeah, this is really special. And it, you know, we like all our houses. I don't think we've sold a house we haven't liked. No. Um, but that was really, it was really, really It was fab. Nice. And it was a lovely house to show as well, wasn't yeah. it? Because it had such a lovely story attached to it. It was really Two good Two careful fun. owners and all of that kind it of thing. It was really good fun. Yeah. And I'm so pleased that the, the buyers got it as well. And obviously we've sold their house for them as well. And that was the Sunday morning where it all worked well. Huge thanks to Chris But do you remember well. what happened? Because they came and they said, oh, we love it. We need to get yeah. our house sold. And we said, yeah. well, uh, but you know how... You I did leave you. <laughs> you I followed me. them home with their authority. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but they said we need what to get our, you with their, them home. I followed them home. Yeah. Not in a stalky way. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I literally followed them home, did the dressing notes there and then, talked them through it. It was like speed that's dating they, for houses. That's how they spent their Saturday night, wasn't they it? They did bless Cleaning them. The house. But gosh, they did a great job. Yeah. And, uh, and then we all um, <laughs> assemble Team Hawksman on Sunday morning, nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And uh, got all the photos, got the video. Yeah. You did your, hello. And uh, you did. I did. You didn't do a knee bend because you went in Claygate. I you did a your, knee bend oh. for a while. Well, I think you I? should. Throw one in next time we should do we a bring house. the knee bend <gasps> We're doing back. one tomorrow. Will you do a knee bend tomorrow? I can do a knee that bend. That would be really good. Maybe when the gate's open and you're on the driveway, you could do a knee bend. I've got to say, this. we've got such a good house tomorrow. Um yeah. I'm, I'm an Isha boy. I, I'm, a, I'm an Isha boy. And uh, this, this is... This is the dream. This is amazing, this, this one. This is the Isha. I love it. Isha of all Ishas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is great. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll do a specialist uh, okay. Oxman knee bend for tomorrow. Uh, but that mm-hmm. was a great one. Yeah. Um, the other one that I'm really proud of as well is the Cobham House. The white one. Oh, yeah. Now, mm-hmm. I think... I, I don't know if we voted on it, but I think that some of the team have moved into that house mentally. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, the, I loved doing the video day there as well. Yes. And it seemed like every time we went there, we got the most amazing weather. Mm-hmm. It was Su- glorious, wasn't it? Every day was sunny. It didn't rain, did it rain at all? No, I don't think so. I don't think it did. And on the on the actual open day, that was the one we talked about last time. Mm-hmm. On that open day, it was beautiful all day long it was as gorgeous. well. Yes. Yeah, really nice. So I'm so pleased. And get and they've moved in. So mm. absolutely delighted for them. Um, great how Sad in a way, I'm not. It's really weird, isn't it? When you've done I've it. already invited myself back because I said, I've got a lot of information to tell you. So I'll let you settle in and then I'll come back and talk you through everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, right. maybe you can come back with yeah, them. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Mm. And also you want to see what people do with the hands. Absolutely. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that's another one. And then, <sighs> not going to get emotional. You are. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Bower Bank. Yeah. Um, so this is a house. Yeah, you know the story, Sarah. Tell I was, me. I, I love it. I just want to see you cry. No, because it is. It's. <laughs> Do you know, I said yeah. to the new owners, do you know James's connection with the house? He said, well, I know he really likes it. I said, right, yeah. when you're in, he'll come round and he'll tell you the story because it's amazing. And it's just so lovely that James has been chosen to be part of this house's history for such a long time. I know that's not helping the tears, no, but I, it's I'm true. All right. I'm, I'm and he will love that story. So Yeah, I'm managing. Mm. I won't tell, I'm not going to tell the full story okay. here because there, there's elements to it. However, um, I have sold that house three times now. Um and I told you, do you remember when we went last time, when we went in 2017, 17, I think it was, mm-hmm. and I said to you, this is special. And you looked at me, is it? <laughs> and I was, it's so special. They're going to love it. This is special. Yeah. Um, and it was, and and it is, and it is. It's one of those houses where it does something funny to me. And and houses do, you know, <laughs> I think houses do affect you when you walk into a, a home. Um and whenever I go there, it is a very, very special feeling. So I'm delighted. And what do we exchange? Three weeks? Mm-hmm. Yes. We exchanged within three weeks. Three weeks? I'm yes. sure we did from yeah. agreeing the sale. We launched it, exchanged it, maybe mm-hmm. four weeks. I don't I no, can't remember. Three. It was while I was away, wasn't it? Yeah. Um but but all done. But yeah, a very, very special house for me. I think um Rachel and I are gonna go off and do a video where I will explain in a bit more detail. There's a mm-hmm. bit I'll keep private because there mm-hmm. is one part of it that's very, very personal to me. Um but um yeah, I'm rambling now because yeah. I am but the, yeah, trying not to my lose first it. um first experience of your relationship with that house was at the art exhibition. Do you remember when our friend had um, a gallery opening and we were there and I didn't know you very well. And I was over one side of a crowded room. And then all of a sudden, this very well-dressed, beautifully presented man started shouting, this is the guy and pointing at you. And I'm like, oh, good God, who have I hitched my wagon to with this one? And then he started saying, 
I bought my house through him. I'd never use another agent. He's amazing. This is that guy. And then he started telling the story. And he loves you as much as you love him, I think. Very, very special clients. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, very special clients. And then obviously the whole story unraveled and it was fabulous. So, yeah. 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 Like I said, there's stuff I'll tell on the video. There's some Mm -hmm. stuff I'll keep personal, but very. uh, Cheers to you, James. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done. done. Mm. All right. I'll have a little cry later. But there you go. (laughs) Um, So, the rain is coming down. Nice to see a bit of rain, actually, now. It's definitely autumn. Someone flicked the switch and it's now autumn. I feel like I didn't get to say goodbye to summer, so I could do with another sunny day or something. But yeah, it is nice to see the rain. We'll have some in September. And what does green grass do? Green grass gets viewings. It does. It does. So Um, yeah, we're going to be all right. Any any past sellers of ours will know... Have you got the sprinkler on? Yeah. Have you put, or the hose pipe band now? Please don't Obviously do don't I, use I, them no, now. Absolutely mm. don't. No. Um, and don't flush the toilet unless you absolutely need to. Uh, but certainly um, now I think our houses and gardens are going to look brilliant They're in gonna September. They're going to look And we have got some great houses coming to the market. I'm so we? excited. Yes. I know. Yeah. Um, it's going to be brilliant. And I think that um, the demand is still the same. Everyone we've spoken to about the Oxshot house oh my goodness. Yep. is desperate to find yep, somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Um, the only thing that I would say, going into September, if you are selling your property, one thing that might get you a slightly better price or might get you a premium or a better buyer or whatever it might be, is being able to offer it with an end of chain. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There is definitely a feeling out there from buyers who are under pressure in London that they want to get things sorted. I've been asked that question about three times, I would say. It's yeah. all, I Just think it's pretty week. much mm-hmm. the most important question, yes. the most uh, frequently asked question that we're getting is, what are the vendors doing? Yes. So if as a seller you do have the ability to either go into rented or go into another property mm-hmm. or... Have your contingency plan if you're country, not, what, if you haven't found the house you want to move into. Yep, yeah, definitely. I, I think if you want to sell, mm-hmm. offering that certainty... Mm, absolutely. Absolutely gets you good buyer and good price. Absolutely, because people coming out of London and things like that, they they need to be out and they want to know that their onward purchase is secure. So absolutely. And we've got that natural Christmas um, deadline in yeah. people's heads coming up as well. Absolutely. So uh, buy a place in September. If you've got good solicitors, about six weeks to get something through on average, let's say it's probably eight weeks. Mm-hmm. So we're into the end of November. You're completing yeah. early to mid-December mm-hmm. if you do, or you're having one last Christmas in the house yes. and then completing in January. Absolutely. Um, but I definitely think if you, if as a seller, you have the ability to offer end of chain, not only are you going to get a great buyer because they'll be under offer and preceded uh Proceeded, but they'll be proceedable and their deal may be quite well progressed. Mm-hmm. Um, so you then solve the problem of, of finding somewhere for the whole chain. Uh, and you may well find that you'd get a bit more of a premium on, on actual pounds yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Because the ability of going in and having certainty, mm-hmm. that's the It's word. that problem solving thing again, isn't yeah. it? Fantastic. There's, there's all the certainty in the world. Everyone knows where they're going to be. Even if they don't move in for Christmas, if they get exchanged before Christmas Absolutely. and you know what your plans for the next year are, Everyone's happy. We all want certainty, don't we? we do. Especially at the moment. That would be amazing. With everything going on. So, so yeah, uh, we've got some great valuations uh, already booked in the diary I'm as really well. I'm really excited for some of them. Yeah, and they're everywhere, aren't they? I mean, I, I know mm-hmm. we are a um, a Cobham Oxshot Isha um, sort of focused business, but we're everywhere. <laughs> we're everywhere. Yes, we are. We're, we're back in Claygate soon, aren't we? Back in Claygate. Obviously, Isha Cobham and Oxshot. We've got stuff going on right now as we speak. Um, Ockham yep. going to this That's week. Exciting. Effingham yes. going to as well. Uh, just outside Dorking. I can't say the village, but I'm going somewhere just outside <gasps> yes, Dorking. Exciting, oh, you're coming it? with me as well. Yes. Haven't quite booked it in, but that could okay. be this week. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so going out to see some really interesting, uh, interesting properties in different areas. Um, and I think there could be some really good kit coming onto the market. So if you are looking for a property, make sure you're registered with us. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. I know I say this time and time again, but everything that we put onto the market tends to come onto Instagram before anywhere else. Sometimes it's only a couple of days, but sometimes it's a week. That can um, make the difference, can't it? Yeah. It, it absolutely can do. Mm-hmm. So um, very excited about September. And I think that um, I think the market is holding up absolutely beautifully. And the demand is definitely... It's definitely there and really good quality definitely there just yes. don't overvalue your house right so well there you go i think we've talked enough now what uh what gin have you bought this time well james thank you for asking because i also got away for a little trip um at the end of august over the bank holiday i went to the isle of Wight. oh yeah and the isle of Wight now have their own gin called mermaid gin love you and uh they've now got i think three gins in their range and a vodka oh. this is their newest one this is mermaid zest and it's flavoured with grapefruit, which I did check with you. You 
we're not going to get into it, but you like grapefruit to drink, but you don't like to eat it. So I'm not asking you to eat your gin. No. No. Um, and that is not grapefruit. That's pomelo as oh, a garnish. So yes. so posh. Try. Um, and it has grapefruit and rosemary tonic in it. Right. Let's have some. Lovely. Cheers. Best of luck. Well done. Oh. It's good, isn't it? That is good. I yes. Know. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us again. Hopefully that's been interesting. Uh, if you've got any questions for us, just fire away. You can contact us uh, in, a, a, I don't know. All the ways. All the ways. Carry a pigeon yeah. if you need to. Uh, <laughs> but certainly we'll be back again this time next month with our thoughts on what's happened in the September market and looking forward to what October holds. 